Hi everybody and welcome to the American Family Insurance Dream Bank where we believe in the transformative power of dreams and we are committed to helping you pursue yours. My name is Nick and I am a senior dream curator here at the Dream Bank and in today's crafting video I am very happy to welcome Tisa Jackson who is going to be leading us through a craft tutorial showing us how to make a really cool canvas tote bag that is themed for back to school. Now this tutorial does rely on the use of the Cricut die cutting machine and so if you don't have one or you've never used one before this will be a really great example of one of the many projects you can do with it and it'll help you figure out if buying a Cricut is maybe right for you. So thank you so much for being here and I will turn it over to Tisa. Hi everybody, I'm Tisa Jackson of This Is Tisa. I am a content creator, a stationary designer, and also a DIY craft workshop instructor. I am so excited to be here. Um, today, I am going to walk you through making this, I have it right here, teacher's bag for back to school. It's so cute. We are gonna use um, our Cricut. I'm using the um, Cricut Maker. You can use whatever Cricut or any cutting machine you have. Um, I'm using um, black vinyl, iron on vinyl, white iron on vinyl, and then this cute glitter iron on vinyl. Um, these images were purchased from Etsy, and um, I think we can leave the links to um, these images if you want to purchase these. And then I'll also leave the link for the font also um, in the instructions. So um, I'm so excited about this. Let's get started. Like I said, I purchased these images off Etsy and I am just uploading them into Cricut Design Space. Select the images you would like to upload. I even made an image of the name and saved that beforehand. So that's also included. I measured my bag beforehand so I would know how big I needed these images to be. For this composition pattern, I do not want the black um, to show behind the white vinyl. So I'm going to cut this out using a feature called Slice. And you're just removing parts of the image that you would not like the Cricut to cut. So I just put the white square image over a composition image and then I selected Slice. You then just remove the images you no longer need. The slice button can be found on the lower right hand of the screen. Now it's time to cut. I did change my name to blue so the Cricut knows that that name is gonna be cut on a different mat. And remember, the name is gonna be cut out of that glitter vinyl. And now we just select make it. So now we're in design space. So I am using my Maker 3, so I need to let the Maker know if we're going to use materials on a mat or without a mat. We're going to use the mat. It's going to upload. So now it's just showing us what's going to cut out on each mat. Um, and this is great. Um, once we get to this image and the name image, we need to make sure that those are mirrored. Um, you always want to mirror your images, especially the ones that have words. And you can do that right before you cut. Right now, I'm just pressing edit and I'm going to mirror this image. Mirror, done. And then I need to make sure that I select the right material. So I'm going to search for glitter and then select glitter iron on, which is right here. And then you're going to select done. It's important to select the correct material. It just helps the machine cut all the materials correctly. We're now going to go to the page four and we're going to also mirror because of all of those words done. And then here we need to make sure that we are selecting the right materials again. And Design Space will show you reminders. Make sure it's mirrored and all of your iron on material is shiny side down. You just load your material and you cut. I did speed up the video of showing the cutting and these are these are all the pieces that I did cut on the maker. I 
I do want to show you one piece that I did weed. Um, but the weeding took forever and I didn't record it all, but I do want to show you. This is the um, part of the composition book that has all of the letters. And I wanted to show you, you don't have to be like super, super careful with um, iron-on material. It kind of just, it's kind of... I don't know just kind of stretchy and um, while you want to make sure your letters are still there you don't have to be as gentle as if this was regular um, sticky vinyl. And now I'm just going to go in and make sure I get all those little pieces and the O's and the P's. Um, I do want to make sure like my eyes are there and everything. Um, it gets a little bit detailed here. There we go. I'm not going to speed this up because I want you guys to see uh, in real time how much it really, uh, how much time this really took me. So now we need to turn on our heat press. Cricut has this awesome heat guide that you can use to look up any of their materials, uh, select materials, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm selecting um, everyday iron on vinyl, selecting my material, which is cotton. And uh, I'm gonna tell it if I'm gonna use a towel or if I have a mat, which I do, I have a mat and I'm gonna apply. And it's gonna tell me how long and what temperature to turn on my heat press. And this is an amazing um, tool that Cricut has online and you can always um, do this. I, I come here every single time, every time I use my heat press, so. So now it's time to press everything. I'm getting my mat to protect my surface. I find if I need, if I use any materials besides Cricut, I need this Teflon sheet. And I just always pull it out just in case. And I got this back from Michaels. It was like $1.99. Um, and I just want to press it and just try to get wrinkles out. And that's what I'm gonna do right now.
So the Cricut only cuts up to, well, the mat we used, I, I cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So I am going to add the background in three pieces. So we're going to add this first piece and we're going to press it according to those instructions that we received from the um, online heat guide. You don't want to move it around too much, but you do want to make sure you cover the entire piece of iron on. I am using the larger easy press um, and I think I'm actually moving it around way too much. But <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is I cut that extra piece of um, the composition book notebook background and I'm just going to cut a little piece for each side and I'm doing that right now and then that way this will cover my entire bag so I think the bag ended up being 13 inches wide maybe 14 inches wide so I'm just cutting little strips And you can kind of eye this. This doesn't have to be perfect. However, I did go in and kind of cut like if um, pieces were going to be touching and it didn't, it didn't have to match up exactly. But if there was like a lot of overlaps, I did like cut away um, some of those pieces. And I just used regular scissors to do that. And just looks so much better. The reason why I'm being so careful here is because we are going to um, press this again probably three times and I don't want to over press my vinyl. So I did a light press the first time and I'm just I just have my weeding tool. I just want to make sure all those little pieces are coming up. Now I'm placing um, those side pieces and I'm going to press them. You always want to make sure that you protect the image that has already been pressed. And so that's why I'm bringing back that carrier sheet. If you don't have this or if your carrier sheets are not as thick as the ones that Cricut provides, you're always welcome to grab that Teflon sheet and use that for protection. And this material is a cool pill. So if you try to peel it while it's hot, it's going to come off. So you do have to let it cool a little bit before you peel it. And so that's why I'm leaving the one side and I'm going to go ahead and press the other side. To save a little time, I went ahead and ironed on the white centerpiece, and now I'm just going to iron on the the rest of the letters. So here is the composition book um, kind of front page, and we are going to um, try to protect everything around it. Um, I'm just grabbing those uh, carrier sheets. You'll see that I'm going to place them down.
Now I'm going to remove the carrier sheets that were just used for protection. And be careful, it's really, really hot. Um, I even grab a little tool you can see here because it's just really hot. And remember, this is a cooler press. So if I try to lift it right now, it's just going to, the material's going to come up. So I'm just kind of like doing everything I can to kind of speed up the cooling process. And peeling um, away the carrier sheet is like one of my favorite things, especially with glitter because it just kind of like pops. Um, so we, we are pulling away that final little piece. I think that part right there was a little bit too warm, but it's okay because we still have one more layer to press and we're going to press the entire thing. And now we are going to add the name. It would have been easier to use a smaller um, easy press, but not everyone has all of the sizes. So I just wanted to show you how you could um, do this with whatever size easy press you have. Um, you don't feel like you have to go and buy all of them. I'm just going to continue to use the larger size. And see, I only put the heat exactly where the carrier sheet is going to protect my image. Now it's time to pull away that carrier sheet for the glitter and just look, it just shines. It's just my favorite part. And now we're going to heat the back of the bag. This just gives that extra, that extra protection. So we just want to make sure all those little pieces are here the best that they can be. And so, um, and I think this part is even part of the instructions on that um, heat guide page from Cricut. And that's it, we're done. I wanted to kind of show you why I wanted to cut away that, uh, the black pieces um, in design space. If you look at my sample, you can see the little black pieces through the white and you don't want that. So that's the reason why we took that extra step and sliced away the um, composition image um, that would be behind the white. See here, you don't see any of the any of that black coming through. So anyway, just wanted to share that. Everybody, this was so fun. Dream Bank, thank you so much for having me on. Um, I am here. If anyone has any questions, reach out. Um, if you do make this project, tag us and show us your projects. Have a great day.